So friends, now we start chapter number 12 and the title given to the chapter is Settlement Commission. But according to me, the title is Settlement of a Case. Okay, so that is only a slight difference because in the chapter, Constitution of Settlement Commission is also given, but that is not relevant for exam. So what you have to understand in this chapter is what is the meaning of settlement and how the settlement can be done and when, why, etc., etc. Right. Now, what is expected by the institute? This is after studying this chapter, you would be able to understand and analyze the manner in which application for settlement of cases is to be made, comprehend the procedure on receipt of application, identify the powers of the settlement commission, and examine the matters in relation to which there is a bar on making subsequent application for settlement. So, what you have to understand is First of all, what is called a case? Number two, what is settlement? Number three, when an application can be made? When application cannot be made? What are the prerequisites for making the application? What is going to be the outcome of the settlement? All those things you have to understand. Now here from we move to page number two para number one this says this is an alternative channel for the resolution of the dispute for ACC without going into the prolonged litigation and adjudication appeal revision etc now to understand this line we go a little bit in the background suppose there is a show cause notice issued regarding short payment, non-payment of the duty or maybe short levy, non-levy and the subject matter is already pending before the adjudicating authority and the RCC to whom the show cause notice has been given, he knows the fact that I am liable but the show cause notice is for the amount, it is much more so one way is let the adjudication process be completed, then whatever amount comes, I pay and forget. Another way, that when the final liability is decided by the officer, it is substantially high than what I believe to be correct. In that situation, there is no way out, I will have to go for the appeal or maybe revision. Now, how to cut it short? This settlement is a procedure by which entire process of adjudication and litigation litigation that all the appellate part that is cut short and full and final liability is determined accepted paid and matter is over forever and that matter cannot be reopened by any authority at any time in the future so settlement is a procedure of cutting down the legal process of le determining the liability and also the appellate portion thereof. Now the next important part there is the definition of the term case because the settlement is in relation to case. Now what is a case? This is original. This is very important word original adjudication proceeding adjudication proceeding and this is pending before adjudicating authority original what is the meaning of original I'll just explain but this is an adjudication proceeding the question is yet to be decided with the officer whether in his opinion there is a compliance or non-compliance but the decision has not been arrived at and the proceedings are there Right. So if the adjudication proceeding is already completed and the person has already filed an appeal, no settlement at that stage. Right. For that, just I will give you 
come to page number 4 and there is point number 4 in the beginning that says no application shall be entertained by the settlement commission in cases which are pending in the appellate tribunal or the court. So if the matter has already been decided by the adjudicating authority and the appeal has been filed before the tribunal or before the court then settlement cannot be arrived at. So settlement is certainly during the process of adjudication. And on the same page, number 5, that says no application under this subsection shall be made in relation to goods which, uh, which section 123 applies or to the goods in relation to which an offense under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act has been committed. No application for settlement in relation to the goods specified under section 123 which includes gold and also in relation to drugs and psychotropic substances act because that is an offense under other act as well and that is a criminal activity therefore there is no settlement as far as drugs and are concerned and for the interpretation of the classification of the goods under the customs tariff act so as far as the interpretation is concerned again there is no application for settlement right so subject to this now we can talk about further so i have already told you what is the meaning of settlement this is avoidance of entire process of litigation through the process of appeal etc right now coming to the case i told you what is case original adjudication proceeding pending before adjudicating authority and this why i said original come to the definition part on page number two number b that says case means any proceeding under this act or any other act so any other act is custom tariff act because the duties are there for the levy assessment and collection of custom duty pending before adjudicating authority on the date on on which the application is made however when the proceeding is referred back in any appeal or revision as the case may be by the court or tribunal or any other authority to the adjudicating authority for a fresh adjudication or decision as the case may be then such proceeding shall not be deemed to be proceeding pending before under this clause right now friends when the matter has gone for appeal the appellate authority is always having a right to refer back the matter to the adjudicating authority for redoing the whole exercise because if the procedure has not been followed completely then rather than the matter being decided in the appeal it is referred back to the adjudicating authority to relook in the case and redetermine the case so when the matter is coming back for the reconsideration of the adjudicating authority it means first time adjudication process has already been completed and it is being referred back so the case which is ref <coughs> referred back to the adjudicating authority that is not a time for settlement because that is the meaning of the word original so original means when it has not been decided so before the decision is taken by the officer up to that point of time only application can be made for settlement not after that right now the essentials for making the application when a person can apply so we have already understood that it is the original adjudication proceeding regarding the levy and demand of the duty so that is the time when application can be made but there are certain essentials so those are actually those are already listed on page number three right so i'll start it other way around first i'll start with precautions right these are not referred as a precaution anywhere but just for your understanding i'm using the word precautions precautions are number one application cannot be withdrawn once an application has been made under any circumstances this application cannot be withdrawn and if the settlement is not arrived at then information given in the settlement application can be used by the adjudicating authority that is a risk involved so if there is a suspicious suspicion regarding the settlement 
or regarding submissions which are going to be made in the application, then better not to go for settlement because the application once made, this cannot be withdrawn. And whatever information provided that can be used by the adjudicating authority if settlement is not arrived at. Number two. it is binding whatever settlement is arrived at it is more or less a consent uh, decision where the department and the CC both agree and then they sign and then there comes a settlement so settlement is not a question of negotiation the department also reduces the liability person also agrees for a little higher liability and ultimately it is arrived at certain figure no it is not a negotiation actual liability paid for accepted and the matter ends right and once it is decided it becomes binding the person will not have a right to accept part of the settlement and part of the settlement and not accepted he does not have a right to surrender that okay this settlement is not acceptable to me nothing at all binding in totality binding in full right and the next thing is no appeals so whether it is the department is not accepting or the CC is not accepting does not make any difference. No appeal can be filed against the settlement order. So these are few precautions which a person has to keep in mind before he makes an application for settlement. Okay. Now moving further. Here we come. So we come to the conditions part this is application the applicant has filed a bill of entry or shipping bill or bill of export or made a baggage declaration or label or declaration accompanying the goods imported exported through post or courier as the case may be and in relation to such document a show cause notice has been issued to the person concerned. So when the notice will be issued only when there is a short payment non payment short levy non levy erroneous refund wrong duty drawback etc etc these are the cases where the show cause notice can be issued. Right. So person has claimed a duty drawback which is an axis of his entitlement for that also this matter applies. Right. So first essential is a show cause notice has been issued. So we are writing the word essentials. Essential number one 